Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the RAM and the hard drive on this old 2013 Lenovo Yoga Idea Pad in 2020. But before that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe down below and thank you for watching. Well, before I get started, let me just tell you a little bit more about this uh, laptop here. Uh, this is a 2013 model, the first generation of the uh, Lenovo Yoga Idea Pad. It's the 13.3 inch model. It's a two in one, and this particular one came with the Intel Core i5 third generation 3317U processor, which consists of 1.7 gigahertz and turboed up to 2.6 gigahertz. And it came with four gigs of DDR3 RAM and also 128 gigs of SSD drive. So the point here is to upgrade uh, the laptop up to eight gigs, which is the maximum capacity since this thing has only one slot for the RAM. And that's pretty much mo the best you could do f uh, when it comes to RAM. But for the use that I'm doing, uh, eight gigs is more than enough. And this thing was gonna run really nice with that upgrade. And also you could upgrade the hard drive, which I'll show you uh, in this video also. So without further ado, let me just get started on the first part, which is the RAM. And I wanted to show you the RAM just by itself. It's so easy. You really don't need any tools. So you go ahead and open this thing up here. Let me just get a little closer here and show you. Uh, so you, you could get directly to the RAM without really using any tools and open up this laptop at all just through the keyboard. And, uh, you know, I, so you start off with the right corner. You could use like a little exacto knife or something or some kind of a prying uh, little tool here but I, I I was able to use my nails and I don't even have a uh, big nail so I just I like to do that if I can because I don't want to scratch you know a lot of times when you use the tool you do leave a scratch here in the corner so as you could see I was able to uh, scoop my finger here and uh, able to pop the clips open and then with the right hand uh, with my left hand I just slowly move my uh, fingers around and pop any additional clips just like that and then once it gets loose this loose enough you just go ahead and just slide it forward just a little bit just like I did right here uh, because the keyboard is attached with a ribbon to the um, you know to the motherboard of the of the laptop and you don't want to pull that and you see as I'm slowly flipping it this way be careful with the ribbon. You don't want to pull the ribbon. And that's it. That's how easy to upgrade to the RAM. That was it. As you can see, the RAM is here. There's only one slot for that. You go ahead and just pop the clip here. Pop the second clip here. And you see how it just pops right out. And you could use two hands and just kind of jig jiggle it right out. And this is it. Um, I mean, you can just go ahead and upgrade the RAM. Actually, this is already the upgraded RAM, and that was the original RAM here, uh, four gigs. So I'm gonna put this uh, back here. This is the, and I'm just gonna tell you the model number on this bad boy here, so that way, for references purposes, or just this one is more clear. That way, you know what to upgrade uh, in the future. Yeah, this is the 1600 uh, DDR3 SODM. Um, RAM stick here, and they're they're pretty much standard uh, for for this year. Um, this should be around somewhere between twenty five and thirty dollars to upgrade to the eight gig stick. Usually that's what they go for. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the upgrade. Then you just go ahead and you put it in the right direction here. You know, you just follow the tooth where the where right there this part here. And just start from the top get it in like that once it stays in nicely you just pretty much press them down slowly on the left side and then on the right side wait one two and then you hear those snaps that's it there's the whole upgrade and you're done very easy and then again very slowly you could just go ahead and same way you slide this way down and then you start popping them back in you'll hear the snaps on all the corners 
And that was it. That was the easy part. Now the hard drive is not going to be that easy. So let me let's go into the next part. I mean, it is easy, but it's just a little bit more work. So go ahead and close this thing here. And now I'm just going to flip this upside down. Now already I I'm done all the screws here. For this job you're going to need you know, precision tools, a small Phillips head here, and this star key, which is, the size of it is 0.5 times 40, if that gives you any clues there. But, you know, if you're ever going to do work on any laptop, you definitely going to have a little kit with the precision tools. I mean, that's just a given. And, you know, and you have this little ball for the screws. So I got them all out, except the one I just want to show you right here. Uh, so this thing uses the star screwdriver here. Kind of like the the Apple uh, laptops, which I'm surprised, but that's okay. No big deal. Okay, that's it. Okay, we're done here. So at this point, um, you could just go ahead and just, again, use your fingernail just to kind of loosen it up just to loosen it up you don't have to open it up all the way because you're not going to be able to just like a little snaps here around the diameter here that's it just like that okay so now it's nice and loose you go ahead and flip it back the way it was and we're going to open this thing up again and go ahead and pop the keyboard open again from the right corner here. Nice and easy. And then pop this open. And this time we're going to go ahead and disconnect the ribbon here. Now let's take a look here. Uh, this black bar on top, right, right where this white part is, right on the under the white part slowly with your fingernail right in the, try to do it right in the middle you should be able to just like that I know you can't see it too much too well but let me just see if I could zoom in for you guys to show you what I'm talking about here why not okay this is it this is what I was talking about let me close it back up just to show you Oop, gotta be gentle yeah, it's better to use two fingers so yeah this this clip here it's better to get a better use two fingers might as well just use your nails or something just up pop it open like that nice and gentle and just jiggle it right out nice and gentle that's it so You could just put this thing on the side. Okay, we're coming towards the end here already. Uh, at this point, we'll use the Phillips screw. There's only like five screws here, so. There's one right there. And they're actually all labeled here. So you can't make a mistake. Uh, so there's five screws. Uh, th let me just unscrew them all. Three are long and two are short, but they actually labeled the, on each part as a label there it's telling you about the size. So obviously you don't get confused. And you don't try to uh, force that screw in there. So you don't have to worry about that if you ever forget which one goes where. Almost done here. I'm really impressed with this laptop, I must say. I'm a sucker for the old hardware. If it runs good, why not? Still beats one of those, in my opinion, cheap Chromebooks, you know, with like 32 gigs of uh, memory in there. It's ridiculous. 
Okay, so we're done with that part. Now we have to disconnect a couple of things before we're able to pop this part open. Uh, so uh, we have a, let me just show you. Let me move this camera here. Let's see if I show you. So there's another like ribbon here. Opa, right there. Same concept. There's a white tab right here with just one finger. You just go, opa. See how it opened? Very easy. And then you just pull this thing up, open. At this point, you could start getting it loose. There it is. So that kind of opened it up. And it's just one more wire. Let me put this thing flat. So I put this uh, back piece flat, the screen flat right now, a little easier. And now we're gonna do the last uh, connection. That's the the power button connection here. Actually, it's uh, close to the RAM. Okay, right here, and I'm gonna lift this up a little bit to make it easier. That's a little tough one. Let me see if I can get a better angle. Here is you just be gentle when you pull it out because. not that easy let me pop this thing open here okay just up oh, that's it okay so we take this off and yeah, let me show you the part that I was talking about hold on let me zoom out Just trying to show you what I didn't see when I was looking at these guides. Like, yeah, so this is the part. Very, very gentle. You know, you from underneath, you try to pull it out. That goes right here. That's the power connection. That's your power button. So that's it. We put that on the side. And, yeah, this is it. This is pretty much the, the full teardown, uh, you know, of the to get access to the motherboard. We're not doing nothing with the screen. And here, this is the interesting part. So, believe it or not, this laptop comes with two slots for, uh, you know, for the hard drives, and they're using the AMSATA ones, and they're a little expensive, in my opinion, uh, but uh, you should be able to get another 128 gigs, so it depends on your budget, and uh, it comes with 128 right here. What I'm actually going to do is upgrade here, put another 128, because it's only like 22 bucks, but I've seen... The, the next size up, 256. I've seen them uh, used ones for 38 to 39 bucks on eBay. So that's going to be your options. I mean, that's other than that, that's I think that's pretty easy, straightforward upgrade here. You know, you just unscrew the one screw here, and that's it. And then you got another slot here. So that's pretty. That's pretty good for a little guy that comes with two two slots. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I think this just want to show you how easy it was to upgrade this thing I'm very excited to finish this thing off and just sit back and enjoy this This could be my little browsing thing or I could just give this to as a gift to somebody um, Yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions uh, Don't hesitate uh, to leave any comments down below uh, If you like the video if this is helpful, please don't forget to hit that like button It's very easy to do and it helps me out a lot that way I can make more videos for you guys uh, so yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.